Hi, Patrick here to show you how to program your four, six, and nine button convergence network controllers. The controllers come with a preset configuration for plug and play right out of the box. If you wish to make changes to your buttons or slide switch settings, you will make those changes through the Convergence Network Configuration software. To begin programming your controller, plug in the USB cable from your PC to the controller. The first screen you will see asks you which device you will be programming. Siren amplifier, standalone light bar controller, or serial interface module. Select standalone light bar controller. The next screen asks you to select which keypad you are programming, four button, six button, or nine button. Since we have a six button controller plugged in, I will select six button. After selecting your keypad, then select which device or devices this controller will control. In this case, I will select FS Join Light Bar. Then you must select which FS Join Light Bar. This is the keypad edit screen. Here the keypad can be changed, ignition can be toggled, and the backlight colors can be changed. Backlight intensity only works when the state is set to dim. This is the light bar edit screen. When connected to a light bar, the detect LED configuration will auto-populate the heads with the correct configuration. Note that the bed light and auto dim need to be added even with the auto detect feature. The light bar can also be manually edited. Select the heads to be edited and use the colored boxes to choose what colors are in each head. After clicking continue, the keypad and light bar can be programmed. To begin, choose the keypad button or slide switch to be programmed. To the right of the screen is the Properties tab. Here, the button can be named, the button type can be changed to push on off, momentary, or step. Beeps, timers, and button color can also be changed on this tab. Naming the buttons can help differentiate them immediately and help keep track of what features have already been programmed. Once the keypad button to be programmed has been selected, select the heads of the bar to be programmed. All heads can be selected at once or individually. Once the head or heads to be programmed have been selected, simple patterns can be made or pre-built patterns can be chosen from a bank of popular options. The heads can also be set to steady burn or signal master patterns, as well as cutting heads off and setting individual intensity. Clicking Start Preview will allow you to view the current pattern settings. These can be changed while the pattern is still being previewed. Patterns do not need to be created. Pre-built patterns have also been supplied. Once the heads to be programmed are selected, simply choose the colors and the pattern desired. The pre-built patterns can also be previewed in the same way as the custom patterns. The next tab is for steady burning heads. In this example, the rear of the light bar will be set to steady burn for work lights. Highlight the rear of the light bar and choose Steady Burn. Then select the color and intensity. This can also be previewed. To add Signal Master, choose the corresponding heads. 
go to the Signal Master tab. Here the color of the Signal Master can be chosen as well as its pattern. Cutoffs and intensity of each head can also be selected. Whatever heads are assigned will either shut off or change intensity when the keypad button associated is pressed. To program an FS join light bar in a similar fashion to the legacy bars, click the legacy mode radio slider. This brings up the legacy mode menu. No heads need to be selected. This simply ties a convergence command to a button. Once your controller is configured as intended, go to Device and Program Device. The bar will flash showing the controller has been updated. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.